guys. Thanks for joining us today. We have a read aloud called Ish by Peter H. Reynolds. Read with permission from Candlewick Press. Ish. Peter H. Reynolds. Ramon loved to draw. Anytime. Anything. Anywhere. One day, Ramon was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother Leon leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. <laughs> what is that? he asked. Ramon could not even answer. He just crumbled up his drawing and then threw it across the room. Leon's laughter haunted Ramon. He kept trying to make his drawing look right, but they never did. After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper, Ramon put his pencil down. I'm done. Marisol, his sister, was watching him. What do you want? He snapped. I was watching you draw, she said. Ramon sneered. I'm not drawing. Go away. Marisol ran away, but not before picking up a crumbled sheet of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Ramon raced after Marisol, up the hall and into her room. He was about to yell, but fell silent when he saw his sister's walls. He stared at all the crumpled gallery. She's got all his crumpled up works on his walls, on her walls. This one is one of my favorites, Marisol said, pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Ramon said, but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vase-ish, she exclaimed. Vase-ish? Ramon looks, looked closer. Then he studied all the drawings on Marisol's walls and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look okay-ish. Ramon felt light and energized, thinking ishly allowed his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt looks like line, loose lines, quickly springing out without worry. Ramon once again drew and drew the world around him and making an ish drawing felt wonderful. He filled his journals, tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, afternoon-ish, fish-ish, sun-ish. Ramon realized he could draw-ish feelings too. Peace-ish, silly-ish, excited-ish. His art inspired ish writing. He wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew they were poem-ish. Ponder, 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 dream yonder. Pond, pond, yond, yond, gleam, wander. Ramon. One spring morning, Ramon had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words and ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savored it. And Ramon lived ishfully ever after. The end ish. Sounds like Ramon had a bit of a fixed mindset and when he decided to look at and reframe his mind he was able to accomplish anything he wanted. So 
that was a great story about ish i, I hope you guys have a wonderful day thanks for joining us see you later